Hey, it is Michael, and I am here with Sally. Hi there. Mandy. Hey. And Steven. Hello. For a special episode of Podkins. It's Podkins number 77, and this is the episode where we're actually going to announce the 10 finalists for our next Webkins Room Design Awards, which is actually happening on Monday, April 17th, guys. Just visit Webkins News, click on the post, and vote for your favorite room design. There will be three winners, so each of the winners are going to receive a room design award. Now, the first winner is going to be chosen by you guys, everybody here on the Webkins News community. The second winner is going to be chosen by the creative team. We're sitting in studio here for you today. And the last award will be picked by me. So I don't want to waste any time, guys. Are you guys ready to see these 10 finalists? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Now, the first one was sent in by Natty, and it's a springtime in Bunny Hollow. Sally, does anything strike you about this design? Oh, I remember this one. I just love those little uh, little houses, and, you know, it's got this great sort of neighborhood feel. I love those. Those carrots are pretty old school, but they work really well <laughs> in this room. And the pops of orange are really cute in that pink room. Excuse yes. me, this is mine. Sorry, <laughs> you know, am I allowed Excuse to jump me? in? Yeah, no. totally, totally. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Congratulations, Natty, on becoming a finalist. Now, let's move on. Here's the next one. It's a Rock Mountain High, and this was sent in by Gappy2. Now, beautiful design, right, Mandy? Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. You just feel like you're going on an adventure, and I love the bears. Like, you know, there's the bear cave, but then watch out for bears when you're traveling down that stream. Absolutely. Congratulations, Gappy2, on becoming a finalist. So now here's our third finalist. This is Aslan 1979, and their room design was the Tropical Lagoon. Now, Stephen, here we see that trick using the blue flooring as water. Yeah, I love this. It's uh, We have all sorts of these little rafts and boats that we've uh, come up with to kind of help augment this illusion of uh, being able to use like blue flooring as water. It's a uh, great, great use here. Absolutely. Congratulations, Aslan. Let's move on here. The next one is a pixie treehouse, and this was sent in by Nufi. Now, this one's really pretty, isn't it, Sally? Yep. Pink isn't my favorite color, but this is a really <laughs> great use of it. I love uh, all the little details, and uh, I'm always a big fan of the sort of symmetry as well. I love how it's got that symmetrical look. Absolutely. On Everything was really carefully placed. So great job, Nufi, on your pixie tree house and good job on becoming a finalist here's our next one it is a valentine's room and this was sent in by lauren now mandy do you remember this one when we saw it before i do remember this one and i'm with sally i'm not a huge pink person but i love all the different shades they've used like the rich reds and the peaches and almost a purpley in some of the trees it all works together so nicely and especially against that white background it's exactly. really really vibrant Beautiful design, Lauren. Congratulations. Let's move on. This one is a wildflower garden, and this was sent in by Violet. Now, Stephen, what do you think of this one? I love the uh, use of rows of purple there with the uh, repeating colors of the uh, flowers. It's uh, pretty stark, again, against the, the snowy background. It's great. Absolutely. So congratulations, Violet. Let's move on. This one is a jumbleberry frozen yogurt shot, and this was sent in by Husky2190. Kind of feels like we're on a farm here, Sally, right? It does, and I'm getting kind of hungry. Do, do we have any frozen yogurt? <laughs> we'll have to check the vending machine. But what are those carrots doing in there? Yes, I there you go. Carrot. Yeah, lots That's of good. little details went into this room. So great job, Husky2190. Let's move on here. Only a few more left. This one is a Friendship Street Backyards, and this was sent in by Buddy Rudy 3 Mandy, I really feel that they've really captured the sense of neighborhood backyards here. I know I remember this one at the time, and I think we talked about how, you know, the family on the right has some little kids. And I think at the time I thought maybe the family on the left was a retired couple. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty That's of time right. to keep their garden nicely maintained. It's so creative. Yeah, I just, and I think I remember. I love it. Remember talking about this when somebody said that a ball should have been placed in the other <laughs> exactly. garden to make it look like it fell over the fence. But really cute and really great design, buddy Rudy. Three. Let's move on. This one is a vacation island. We saw this one recently, and it was sent in by Mom Number One. Stephen, they've recreated Vacation Island here, and I think they did a great job. Yeah, it's very wild. They've got each little uh, item there representing like a different icon on the map, like vacation wheel and. Uh, Sheldon's Souvenir Shack. is very cool. Very cool. So great job, mom number one. Congratulations on being a finalist. This is our last one, our last finalist for our next Room Design Awards, which is happening on Monday, April 17th, like I mentioned before. It's a road rally and it was sent in by my Noe. Now, Sally, there's lots of different stories being told here. A race next to a farm. Yeah, and, and the rainbow in the back and you can see Kinsville and Apple. Is it lunch yet? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you're getting all Why the food ones. Why do we get all the food ones? Yeah. I love how color coordinated the cars are, so you can definitely see what team you're on. Go, go, go team green. They're yes. winning anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So congratulations to all 10 finalists. I should mention, though, that the 10 of you are each going to be sent a carton of white chocolate eggs. The code for the white chocolate eggs are going to be sent to the account, the email address that you use to actually email me your room design. So check for that. Now, I just wanted to very quickly go over a couple of honorable mentions that, by the way, I should say they're not going to be you're not going to be able to vote for these designs on April 17th. But as a special treat, guys, the honorable mentions here, you guys are each going to receive a carton of white chocolate eggs as well. So I just want to go through them really quickly. Here we go. This one is Dr. Quack's Clinic, and it was set in by Pig Knuckles Mom Ginger. Great design. The next one here is a water park. I remember this one. It was sent in by Miss Diana, 1966. Our next one here is a Leprechaun Hollow. This was sent in by Lala. Great design. Talking about great designs, Nachokins came up with one. It's a snow fort battleground. Great job. Here is a Lion King on ice. I really like this one. This was sent in by a cool ant. And finally, our honorable mention is Autumn here with their mini veil. So like I said, guys, each of you will also be receiving a carton of white chocolate eggs. So check your email. And by the way, as a special treat, remember last Podkins, Mandy, Podkins 76, we gave away a code for a milk chocolate egg. Yeah, but I'm not going to read the code this time because uh, <laughs> I got one of the letters wrong. And I blame you for not noticing, Michael. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Sally can read the code. And Fine. actually, Sally, you're not actually going to be awarded the egg to your dock when you're entered at the code shop, right? You're going to no, get, get one, one of the No, it's just one of the item. prizes that you can get from the egg. Right. So one of the prizes from the white chocolate egg prize pool, you're not going to be eligible to win that weathered hot air balloon, right? You're going to, you have to right. purchase the eggs yourself. No in order grand to prizes. Get it. Sorry, guys. So there you go, guys. So here it is, your code for the 2017 white chocolate egg. All right. It's W24K3X7N. 4KUDQ43J. Very good, Sally. You I got can, all. I can confirm she read that correctly. <laughs> you got all the letters, <laughs> unlike some people. <laughs> there you go. And should mention that those are all uppercase. So great job, guys. Congratulations to the 10 finalists and, of course, our six honorable mentions. Really great room designs. Keep sending me your room designs, by the way, at letsbuildatgans.com. And you can email podkins at podkinsatgans.com. Thank you guys for helping me show off those 10 room designs today. Sally, thank you. Thanks. Mandy and Steven, thank you guys too. Thank you. No problem. And guys, good Lunchtime. luck. Lunchtime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.